Hey everybody, it's Tracy from Science Buddies. Today we're going to explore how the Minimax algorithm works with the classic game Tic-Tac-Toe. Before we start on the algorithm, let's revisit the basics of Tic-Tac-Toe. Tic-Tac-Toe consists of a 3x3 grid, and the goal of the game is to get 3 in a row. Now, imagine if we could teach a computer to not just play the game, but to play it with an unbeatable strategy. The Minimax algorithm is a decision-making algorithm, and what makes it so powerful is its ability to think ahead. Minimax is a recursive algorithm, meaning it doesn't just look at the current state of the game, it anticipates future moves and imagines the entire sequence of moves that follow. This recursive nature allows Minimax to consider all possible moves and outcomes, creating a branching tree of possibilities called the game tree. Minimax's ultimate goal is to find the optimal move for a player, maximizing their advantage while minimizing the opponent's potential gains. Let's go over the key components of the Minimax algorithm, which are the evaluation function and the maximizing and minimizing player. At the heart of the algorithm lies the evaluation function, which is responsible for assigning a score to each possible board state. This score is the algorithm's way of quantifying how favorable or unfavorable a given state is. When the evaluation function looks at the board, it interprets the current state of the game. A positive score implies an advantage for player O, the algorithm sees potential victory. Conversely, a negative score signals an advantage for player X, a path that might lead to victory for the opponent. A neutral score of 0 is given when neither player wins and the game ends in a draw. The evaluation function acts as a guide for the algorithm to choose the most favorable outcome for the player it's representing. Let's talk about the maximizing and minimizing player in the context of tic-tac-toe. For our purposes, we assigned O as the maximizing player and X as the minimizing player, but you can switch the roles as long as you stay consistent throughout the entire game. Now that we understand the foundation of Minimax, let's delve into a step-by-step -step process, which includes the base case, recursive exploration, and backtracking. Every time we run the Minimax algorithm, it will first check the base case. The base case is indicated by what we call a terminal state, meaning that the game ended in a win, a loss, or a draw. At this stage, the evaluation function assigns a score based on the outcome. With the base case set in place, the algorithm then starts exploring the game tree recursively. Every branch represents a possible move, and every node signifies a potential board state. At each turn, Minimax alternates between players. As it navigates through the tree, it explores all conceivable moves, each time considering the potential outcomes. This process is similar to a player thinking several moves, considering the consequences of each decision. As Minimax reaches the end of its exploration, it engages in a strategic backtracking maneuver. The algorithm starts to backtrack through the game tree, carrying with it the scores assigned to each node. As it ascends, Minimax strategically chooses the path that leads to the optimal outcome for the player it represents. In this case, which path do you think O would take? You might think it's either one of these two paths, since they end in a win for O, but that's not exactly the case. You have to remember that Minimax assumes that the other player is playing to win, meaning that even though this scenario is possible, X is unlikely to let O win that easily, when X could easily win itself in the previous step. So we end up in this branch. O can at least guarantee itself a draw, and a win if X is not playing optimally. And with that, we reach the end of this explanation of the Minimax algorithm. We learned that the Minimax algorithm is a decision-making tool for two-player turn-taking games. It systematically explores a game tree by anticipating future moves and employs an evaluation function to assign scores to board states. Finally, it strategically chooses optimal paths through recursive exploration and backtracking. For a selection of Minimax projects, please refer to the links in the description below. And for a thousand other projects for all areas of science and engineering, visit our website www.sciencebuddies.org.